This channel is supported by my online fishing courses, and you can learn more and get significant discounts at saltstrong.com slash skinner. I'll have links to all of the gear in the video description, and if you like this video, please hit the like button, and if you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. All right, I can't stress enough that you're going to want to watch this video all the way through. This is the most educational video I've ever posted, and I've been doing this a long time. Um, if you fish in any low light situations, in any situations where the water isn't perfectly clear, this video is going to help you catch more fish. What I learned here blew me away. Let me explain with some background. Okay, so this is vertical jigging with diamond jigs. So these are metal jigs. Uh, this, the main species here is weak fish. And I don't think that makes any difference at all. There's actually going to be a couple of species in here. Um, you'll see me glancing over at the fish finder occasionally. I have a pile of fish underneath the boat and uh, basically dropping these metal jigs down on top of them. And there's a teaser up above that. This one happened to grab the teaser. But, uh, you know, there's quite a few people in on this fishery. And if you look around at the other boats, everybody's got these nice shiny jigs. And, yeah, why wouldn't you? You know, you want to keep these in good condition, uh, you know, nice and new. I rinse mine off. I keep them nice and polished up because you want them to flash uh, as best as they can. Um, so uh, I was kind of intrigued by having such big piles of fish underneath the boat. So I decided I'm going to go record some underwater video. Um, and I, I know the water quality isn't great, but I was thinking, you know, if I've got even a foot or two of visibility, I could still see something interesting because I've learned a lot um, by shooting underwater fluke video, or also known as summer flounder. So I was just hoping to see something interesting by doing this. So I went out by myself, a dedicated trip just to shoot video, and uh, you know, I've got to you know, find the schools, fish on the schools, you saw me hook up there. Uh, I am recording video two different ways, uh, two different cameras. That one you saw is going to go right down to the bottom. There's a second one that uh, I'm going to put at a different time that's going to be a little bit up off the bottom. Look at that fish finder. Okay, so that the bottom on the left-hand side, well, at least right there, the camera down loaded, there. loaded with fish. Um, and, and so that's what I'm hoping to record. I'm going to drop down there and, and, and see what that looks like and probably see how they hit that little teaser lure. And I've got a hook there protector on there, so I don't really want to hook the fish, but I'd like to see them going after it. But, uh, hey, this is a, a great bite of weak fish. They're also called uh, sea trout in some areas. And uh, it's simple fishing. You drop to the bottom uh, and you, you get some lifts. It's kind of yo-yo uh, fishing. And, hey, you know, the, the fishing is fast-paced because, you know, I'm sitting on top of a school. So, yeah, very curious as to how this uh, video will turn out, what I'm going to see down there. Uh, what I'm going to see is going to be pretty surprising. And you can see from the fish finder, I'm still on top of the school. That's because I've used the trolling motor to spot lock anchor on top of the school. Oh, a big blue fish came after him. All right, you can see I'm going to remove a, uh, it's a pink gulp grub from, uh, from the fish's mouth here. Uh, yeah, you know, I'm using pink because I had a jar of pink and I did well on it and, and I just keep using it because it's been producing. Um, other colors work as well, but um, what we're going to see in about another minute or so, and with the subsequent test that's going to come after that, it, it's going to change my approach to colors as well. Ooh, okay. Hit on the way down. That's more like it. Ooh. more like it if it's not a blue fish, but it doesn't feel like a blue. Feels like a nice weak fish. Oh yeah, look at this. That was huge. is a good one. Okay, here we go with an underwater camera drop. Uh, heavy sinker's pulling that camera down. We are looking up towards uh, a bright sky. We're dragging a gulp grub, uh, I don't know, foot behind the camera. So there's the gulp, and here we go. Down, down, down. Down. Getting dimmer. Getting dimmer. And it's dark. And now I hit the bottom. All right, this is 60 feet of water. Guess what? At least the last 10 feet before you hit the bottom is pitch black. These fish are living in total darkness. 
Uh, let's watch the reverse. Here comes the camera being retrieved from the darkness and up, 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 and <laughs> there's a sea robin on the other end. Hey, you know, the visibility wasn't so bad. If I had light, um, yeah, I could have actually recorded some okay video. But the point is, you know, we're, we're thinking about all these colors and shiny jigs and things like that, and guess what? It, it's nighttime down there for these fish. It is totally black. Here's a different camera. Uh, was going to set it up a different way. Um, not even send it all the way to the bottom. It doesn't matter. Um, it's now it's dark. You know, it's black. So they are living in darkness, 24/7, and uh, that I did not expect. And um, that's going to cause me to do a test. Hey, here we are in the reverse. We're coming up. Yep, and we have a passenger. Uh, spider crab jumped on that thing. Um, but you can see, you know, you come up off the bottom, and now the light level increases. And yeah, so wow. All right, well, what do we do with that? We do a test. And um, I wanted to know, you know, we're all worried about how shiny the jigs are. Well, hey, spray paint one black, the opposite of shiny. Which one's going to work better? Is there going to be a difference? And I've got my brother Bob out to help me with this test. And there's fish below us. And this is this is where they were the start of the tide the other day. So you're going to just drop and yo-yo. It's really simple, s silly stuff. Um, right now, I see no reason to motor. Uh, 62. And we're going to be, you know, 50, 60. This, and then just up and down. And basically, we're going to look to see you know, whether they'll hit. You know, there's probably better concentrations. It might take us some time to, you know. All right, so the initial test is chrome against black. And uh, identical jigs, just one spray painted black. I decided to keep the teasers on because we need to catch fish. The teasers catch like 75% of the fish. Um, so I want to make sure I'm on the best concentrations of, of fish that I want to that want to hit. And um, yeah, so we're going to spend a few hours out here and uh, and and see what's going to produce, and it will be interesting. Good job, right? Weeky? Yep, definitely good. Nice, thanks. Uh, I just dropped one too. See, I just moved us back a few feet. Definitely over here too. I might be fouled, huh? Either I'm, you know what? He doesn't feel fouled. He could be big or could be two. Hey, another reason to watch this all the way through. When we get done with this test, we're, we're going to go make a couple of drifts for Fluke, and amazingly, my brother's going to get his personal best of real doormat. Oh no, they'll make them. I got to think about. It. I think 87. Yeah, it's a double. I called it. Yeah. Now the black jig too. Yeah. Yeah, I mean hers hers for sure was was closer to I mean it, it might have been you know eight pounds, but I had a, quite a few that were like six-ish. But they're getting smaller now. I don't know if I fouled them. You know, if you foul them, that means at least you're on them, right? Definitely a weak fish. I think that's foul hook weak fish. No, it's uh, in the mouth. Black jig. Black jigs far out producing chrome. So much for having shiny jigs I'm always worried about. Yeah. Black hook everything. So that's a friend of ours in that other boat, that nice looking Steiger craft. All right, so uh, something we're doing throughout the trip is we, every once in a while, we swap rods because we want to eliminate the angler as uh, impacting these results. So uh, we'll, we'll just trade rods once in a while so that the other person uh, gets to try the other jig. And uh, the, at the end, we're just going to record. Uh, we're going to try and keep it even. We'll try and make sure that we, you know, we fish the same amount of time on, on each one. And uh, But 
I can tell you, even at now this point, I forget, maybe we were uh, two hours or so into the trip, it was already becoming quite clear that the black was out producing. And uh, I think I'm just showing um, weak fish in this, but we've got sea robins also. And uh, so far we're seeing the sea robins showing a preference for the black as well. There we go. This is a better one. And it's a single and he's legit hooked. Black chick in the mouth. Beautiful. Very Shake right off. Thank you. Okay, it became so obvious that black was a winner. We then uh, replaced the chrome with a glow-in-the-dark. I own one glow-in-the-dark diamond jig, and uh, it's the same size and, and everything as the ones we're using. So uh, now we've got uh, a glow one down. We've moved slightly, um, but I can tell you I made sure. I, I dropped the underwater camera both locations on this trip, on the test trip, to make sure that it was still dark because this was two days um, after the trip where I recorded the initial underwater video. So I have confirmed this water is dark and here we go with the glow. Okay. On the jig. Look at all, this, all the krill. Right, before we even get into the lure color results, uh, a, a couple of things that I think about with this revelation that it's black down there. One is um, the weak fish in this bay system tend to um, hang in, in a couple of different places and the two places that I checked where they are that water is black at the bottom and I think they're there to hide from the bluefish because the bluefish will cut them to pieces um, if they're given the chance and I have recorded video a mile from here in a similar depth and, and it wasn't black at the bottom so I'm wondering if they're hiding from the blues in that darker water. Um, another thing is, look at this, this is bright sunshine, you know, this is probably noon at this point, and it's a great weak fish bite. And I was chatting with a charter captain, and he said, you know, we used to only catch these things in low light conditions, you know, in the morning or evening or at night. Uh, but hey, if it's always night down below, these fish don't know what time it is. And uh, that's why we're experiencing really good daytime weak fish bites. Low in the dark diamond jigs. Okay, remember, there's a doormat flute caught uh, after this, but here's the totals for the test. Um, amazingly, the chrome jig, which is what everybody uses, pretty much all you can buy, um, caught one weak fish, one blue fish, one sea robin. I want to point out that the blues are typically higher in the water column. Good chance that fish was not in the dark. The black, six weak fish, six sea robins, and a porgy for 13 fish total. Now the glow, we only fished half as long as the other two jigs because we didn't put that on until it was obvious that black had outfished chrome. Even though glow was used half as long, it won with weak fish. It had eight weak fish, uh, just one sea robin, nine fish. Now this is what really sells it for me. To show you how poorly the chrome is seen by these fish, um, foul hooked weak fish on the body, not near the mouth, this is like in the back and the belly, Black snagged one, glow snagged one, chrome snagged seven. Not only can't they see the chrome to hit it, they can't get out of its way. Um, if you think about chrome, it's like a mirror. It's reflecting what's around it. Um, and uh, they, they can't see it, I guess, with what little light there might be. And I'll tell you what, the background of this slide is actually um, a frame from the underwater video. This is how dark it is. So. Uh, if there's any light that they can perceive, black will cast um, the best silhouette. And of course, glow, well, that's got some light. Um, it makes sense that that might be the best. But to me, this is, this is really something. In the Northeast, we do a lot of night surf casting for striped bass, and there's a perception that uh, the darker colors work best on a dark night. And you know what? This, uh, to me, this helps back that up. 
Now, I always thought silver was a, a good color. Well, for low light and for night, I'm not thinking that way anymore. Um, it's the hardest to see. Hey, and if you think about it, prey wants to blend in. They don't want to be seen. So, um, yep, a little less uh, silver in my surf bag at night and even more black. And, uh, yeah, for some fishing, you're going to have to think about glow. If you have ideas about any of this, please leave comments. Uh, this is a great learning experience, and I like to know what other people think about it. Yeah, we decided to make a couple fluke drifts uh, before heading in. Ooh, you got yourself something there. I see the... On the Skinner rod. Just keep a bend in the rod. That could be a good one. This isn't a keeper. Yeah. Assuming he's not fouled, which I'm not... A just because I think I see some circling going on there. Nice fish. Just take it easy. Keep it moving. Keep it right to the net. Right to the net. Beautiful job. Holy crap. <laughs> Hold on. I, say, caught, I caught that. Yeah, you I caught, caught that. that. Yeah, you caught that. <laughs> Holy. Yeah, well, you know what? Tonight, it is, it is a Wednesday. Right? You, go, you go buy a lottery ticket, okay? Because... So how do you like the rod? The rod was spectacular. I mean, it was everything like you said. It bends in the middle, and that's... Yes, that's I, the point. I, I have been and just like that, our second drift, he gets his personal best. Nine pounds, five ounces. Congrats. Uh, that's a beauty. And we were not done. It's definitely a fluke. Yeah, it's a keeper. It's going to be a keeper. I'll be very surprised. Just bring him, I'll bring him right over. Here you go. And they just have to eat, it's not, a, it's not huge. It's not as big as the, even the last one I had. Or, <laughs> shit. Got him. Well done. So while that was some trip, uh, counting the fish that were caught on the teaser, we ended up with 61 weak fish. That doesn't include the ones that were foul hooked. Uh, and then he got his personal best fluke, and we've added some nice fluke here at the end. So, wow, uh, what, a, what a day. Um, all right, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you're not already a subscriber, please subscribe and hit that notification bell. And check out my online fishing courses at saltstrong.com Skinner.